Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 51 on my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2014 with Bath City. And here today with another episode uh, for you. Uh, originally, I was going to do the FA Trophy game, but I just played that off camera before uh, because I was just in the mood to play it. And I actually did record it, if I'm honest. I did record it, but the recording failed. But at the same time, I probably talked about some things I shouldn't, but... Or you might, yeah, things that you might not find interesting uh, to be more specific. And I just want to focus on, yeah, playing the games, and that's all I'll focus on now. And yeah, we've got some important games, and that's another match. We've got another FA. Tro it's the first round. Like that's, I'm not sure how much episodes I'm going to do today, but uh, yeah, I'm going to do these two games at least in this episode specifically. I'm going to do Eastbourne Borough and then Harrow because I'll just talk about this result for a little bit against Sittingbourne. We did win that. We did get 4K from that. So now we're only 10K in the red. We're pushing up. We are pushing up and we're going to hopefully... I would love to win it. Look, I believe we can win it. Like, I believe we could beat school Premier teams at our best. At our best when no rubbish goes against us. And that's probably something I want to talk about as well. Like, uh, people say I complain about the game, but I just want to say uh, it's just my live reactions to the game. And that's just me. It's just, just my live... Re it's not like I'm sitting back and trashing the game. It just, it's just my live reactions. And you would be the same. When something bad happens, it's not like, yes, I'm going to lose. And do you want me to be happy about losing or happy about conceding a goal? Or I could just be boring and just say, yeah, conceded a goal, let's move on. And it depends. Do you want to be entertaining or boring? And just a realistic reaction that most people would get in Football Manager... That's all I'm trying to provide, but yeah, I don't personally think I'm complaining, just like I said, uh, my live reactions to the game, but I understand if people yeah, think it's complaining, and yeah, I'll try and maybe not make it seem like that so much, because yeah, that's not my goal, my goal is not to complain about the game, like I said, it's just my original reactions, my live, unedited reactions to the game, uh, but I'll, I'll love to see your opinions, because as I said, I always read comments, and another guy who actually scored a crucial cup goal, you can see there, he scored a goal, uh, to get us back in the lead, I think it was, or to get the fifth goal, I can't even remember, in that cup game. Uh, ben Garner, he's probably someone who's gone under the radar and someone I probably should talk about more uh, because he's done well. You know, I've said previously, played him three games towards the end of last season. He came through the Youth Academy in the intake, scored two goals out of three games. So he is a goal-scoring midfielder, even though he does have five finishing. He's got good technique. He gets forward. So he can play centre-back as well. That's I'm not sure his best role at the minute. Uh, leave your thoughts on his attributes. But yeah, I'll look to move on here. So he's actually going to get a start, a deserved start. I don't think I've started him in a game this season. He's had three off the bench in the cup and four off the bench in the league. And even in the preseason, he scored twice from two starts and five off the bench. So he's in the same boat. He hasn't really got a chance. He hasn't got a chance. And he probably deserved to in the preseason. He was one of the better players. Well, it's not like I went through and judged every player, but still... Uh, but a big thing here, George O'Callaghan, if we're not winning, yeah, he's probably a big candidate to come off the bench, and yeah, he got injured, yeah, but he's coming back slowly, slowly, you've got to expect the injuries from him, and yeah, I know on the same topic, sometimes people, people always like to focus on things I say that's in the heat of the moment, and yeah, I'm just, like I said, it's not me complaining about the game or making excuses, like when I say if someone experienced gets a red card or misses a penalty and then people compare it to real life situations, like if Pepe, like how he got a red card or how John Terry missed a penalty, like I said, it's just in the heat of the moment, it's not my exact opinions on certain situations, it's yeah, just in the heat of the moment of the game, when I'm in the game and I really want to do well, so... Uh, yeah, that's just my opinion on it anyway. It's just my live reactions to the game. That's, in short, I wanted to get across. But anyway, uh, we'll move on here because, you know, Eastbourne, I've got a good record against them because they play against three at the back and three at the back is easy to beat. And yes, hold on, listen, I'm talking about in the game, not real life. In the game, three at the back's really bad. Like, you can win against them. But now I'm saying that there's pressure on me to win. But yeah, I'm going to hard tackle uh, some players here and then surely people say this is how you get red cards or something. But... I don't get red cards so often, but yeah, the main point, yeah, here, three at the back, it's, I'm sure, yeah, people play football manager a lot, three at the back, if you do that kind of, use that kind of formation yourself, it's hard to win, I mean, like, you've, I feel, like, when I try and create a tactic with three at the back, if I concede a lot of goals, especially from crosses, and when I play against them, like Eastbourne, if you've watched this whole series, and not just one video, not just this video, <laughs> or recently, I've actually did really well against them, and they've been consistently playing this formation, so that's all I can really say, and we're even playing Adelsbury at right back right now, but he makes an error, 
He makes an error. And is it going to lead to a goal? No. Yeah, well done. Well done. And also, I feel kind of pressure as well. That's in the same boat. I'm probably going to have more insane reactions this season <laughs> to previous seasons because I feel the pressure to get promoted from people. Like myself, I don't feel pressure to get promoted from the board. But from people who watch my videos, yes, people expect me to get promoted already. Which, oh, there it is. There it is. And see, now I'm going to be probably sound more boring uh, when my opposition's... I'm just going to more or less say nothing when they score because it seems as though anything I try and explain the goal is complaining about the game. So I'll just more or less talk about nothing and just try and move on and yeah, try and get a goal back. Probably have to move attacking here, but we'll see what happens from this highlight. Gonna play it through. Williams. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, move attacking. Yeah, especially with three at the back. We should go attacking. That's what I did last time against them, if I remember correctly. And can we score right away? Oh, another goal from a set piece. Recently, set pieces have been pretty good for me. Like in that cup game, George Byers scored two uh, from the set piece from a corner. Yeah, he scored two from corners. And it's not like he's a tall player or anything. And he's someone who probably needs a new contract. But he doesn't want to agree right now because he was complaining about not having first-team football. So I'm slowly, yeah, slowly but surely giving him that. And hopefully, soon enough, he'll accept the contract, be willing to listen. He picks up a yellow card. See, he makes an impact when he's mentioned. But yeah, we're winning. Well, we're not winning, sorry. Uh, we got the goal back. Sorry about that, yeah. Uh, at least we equalize. That's going to give us some hope. And we'll say assertively, we can still come out with a win today. It'll be interesting because... I'm not going to say, I don't think, I can't even remember what all my results have been against Eastbourne, but even though they're doing well in the league, I've always had some pretty good results against them. Like I said, they play that three at the back, and I, I think I've won a few games against them. I remember in the first season I won, and earlier, or your last season, oh, Williams, look at that goal. You know, I'm going to keep on the attack, that's what I mean. Like I said, three at the back, we can, we can seem to score goals, because look at this, we're outnumbering them, really. See, look, that's, I guess it's four against four, but yeah, I suppose that was just bad keeping on that situation, but Williams with a powerful shot and made it hard to save. Great effort, and oh, we need a win because they're just on top of us as well. Crucial. And Adelsbury's having to play at Ryback because of injuries. Oh, there he is. He could be the next, like, fantastic superstar we have, like, Churchill or Tolly, someone like that. He seems as good as them right now from the chances he's gotten. Stern played him a nice little ball so he can... Yeah, he basically just set him up there and Garner was ready to hit the shot. He he looks really... He doesn't look like... Judging off his attributes, he's not. he doesn't look like someone who'll score a lot of goals. Like that five finishing I talked about. He's got 13 technique, but... Yeah, he's had another fantastic game. He probably deserves more games now. I reckon I should actually train him as a center attacking mid so he can play in that role a bit more. Uh, here, what are we going to do? I might actually bring on Ryan Watts. He needs some probably match fitness right now. I'll drop Garner back though. And then I'll take Byers off and I'll bring on O'Callaghan for some match fitness coming back from injury. And oh, Stuart Jones, I really want to bring him because of spur morale, but I don't want to get an injury. So I'm just going to do two for now. And we'll leave it like that. Just do two for now because you know you can get injuries. I'll just say I have faith in him and he gains confidence. Okay, I just don't want him to get injured, but perfect situation, like 25 minutes remaining in this game. And <laughs> I told you I'll get an injury. See, it doesn't matter if you make yeah, it doesn't matter at all if you make three subs or two subs. You're still gonna. Well, I don't mean it all the time, but sometimes you do. Bossman, I'll drop him there for Stern. Stern can play as a striker. We should be looking to hold on. Hopefully, we don't get another injury. But yeah, hopefully Bossman can come on. He's got a bit of strength and pace, like explosive player, explosive winger. He should do well. Bossman finds Williams. He goes back to Adelsbury. Uh, tried to find O'Callaghan, as you do, uh, because he's probably our key player in midfield, without a doubt. Got to be careful. Ooh, good defending. We've, in my opinion, we've improved. Sure, we conceded a goal, but like I said, at this level, you concede goals. But... The actual defending, when we look like conceding a goal, like on that situation, that kind of defending in those situations has improved. To not concede, not make a mistake, yeah, that's the kind of situation that has improved. Stern, do something. O'Callaghan, we've got it. And this is why I go attacking. Oh, no. Is it offside? Oh. But yeah, exactly. If it wasn't offside, it would have counted as a goal, of course. But like, that's what I mean. That's why I stay attacking. Attacking is better than defending and sitting back. 
where you let them attack you. And this is better, where you uh, just maintain the possession. Oh, Ghana almost did it again. And we finish. This is perfect. I'm talking about it at the right time. Exact perfect timing. That's why I'm staying attacking. If I sat back, went to counter, we probably wouldn't have scored that goal. That's exactly what I mean. At this level, I think it's good. Sure, other people have their opinions, but I'm showcasing my opinion here, and it's got a 4-1 result against a team that's on top of us. That's a just on the league points this season is doing better than us. And this is away from home as well. So, yeah, that's all I can really show to back up my opinion. Uh, so, yeah. There we go. It's 4-1 away from home. Sticking with my guns. Playing the way I want. And look, Garner, he got three assists as well. Wow. He's really good. I'm very pleased with that performance. But how good is Garner? He's Ghana going to be a good player, isn't he? <laughs> He's Ghana going to... Uh, that doesn't make sense. He's going to be a good player. Anyway, <laughs> that was a great performance by uh, the man himself. The good sign is he's got good natural fitness. And if you look at his attributes and why do you think he's played so well? What It's not like he, he scored a lot of goals. Well, not a lot of goals, but he can score. He's got good composure. Flair is good. Technique is good. That's probably lead to the assist. His creativity is nine. That's a decent... That's a decent attribute to have for a, a centre mid of this age at this level. That could develop decently. So he could be a very good creative player, especially that technique and passing. He could develop into a really good player. So did we overtake them or... Oh, we did. We basically were well, almost swapped positions. I think we were fifth. We moved up positions. So yeah, things are looking good early right now. And you can tell like these kind of episodes are better. Like when I usually win, there's not much to complain about, is there? So... It's really good. Uh, McKenzie reached that yellow card limit, unfortunately. Uh, I don't I don't know. So it just depends on my mood and stuff on backroom advice meetings. Sometimes I just want to go into the next game. And you can see here, Borham Wood or Boreham Wood is winning 2-0. Uh, or they won 2-0 against Gloucester. And here I'm going to be working on attacking movement against Harrow. See, that's a away match. Even though they're a team we should be beating because they've got regens, well, some regens. A region is their captain. He's got 16 determination, so that's not too surprising. And he's got good leadership, but... Uh, yeah, have they got all real players? Yeah, I would prefer to play against real players and grade out players. See, James Hawes. Well, I'm just picking some random players to check there. Who's their best player? Scored most goals. Uh, Akinola. Yeah, we should be beating. He's got a five-star report apparently from us, but has potential to be a leading school premier striker, does he? He's 23. Where did he come from? I oh, know amazing youth academy, not like high, not a high level, but he's got a decent report, but he doesn't look that good. He's got a little bit of pace, but yeah, I don't know. He's only got one goal. He's not someone we have to really consider as a danger man and you can see Ben Garner he's in the team of the week so he's doing all the right things right now from the chances I've given him like he's played he's had minimal really minimal chances look at that look at his average rating from five appearances and a lot of them yeah or four of them in the league they were off the bench so He's made impact when he has had the chance to. So he's a really good player, uh, on first judgment anyway. He's got the natural fitness, which is I find very important. He's got teamwork, flair, aggression to make him a bit strong as well. So yeah, he could be a really important player for us. So I'm training him to make sure he becomes accomplished in that attacking midfield position. But I'm not sure if I should do that or not for a young player. Now, I'm going to take that back, not set. <laughs> I'm going to take that back. Or should I train or get him trained by George O'Callaghan? Yeah, wow. What's his current determination? It's only four. So who is the best, him or Paul Wooten? Or oh, his determination is 16. Now, Wooten for sure. If you can get his determination to 16, we'll be. why can't I do it? Is it because he's a coach as well in our team? That could be why, but I'm not 100% sure. So why is he therefore a suitable tutor when he can't even tutor someone? Makes no sense. So anyway, I'll just do O'Callaghan. 
Okay, I just... That's frustrating when it doesn't work. But anyway, we'll move on. Okay, here's the game in the FA Trophy. More specifically, the FA Carlsberg Trophy. I actually... I want to really try... I want to win it. I want to have a competition to my name. If I can have that... I know it's going to be hard because I'm going to... It depends how far I go, but... Eventually, I'll have to play against teams above me in the above league school premier, but I believe I can win it. I don't know. I just feel confident. For me, it's you probably notice when I do this series, I can get confidence to win these kind of competitions. like the F, Not FA Cup, of course, but FA Trophy. I've always had confidence I could. Well, it's the most realistic competition for me to win, isn't it? And look at this. My morale's going up. Look at that. And I did notice some people were judging Churchill. I've said that in previous episodes as well, but he's done as well as he can. Look at that. If you look, 22 goals conceded out of 16 appearances, that's a better ratio than last season where he conceded 71 in 42. So he is slowly improving. And he's still got a decent average rating for conceding that much. So he does perform in games. And the first season when he came in, in the youth intake, he got an average rating of 7.11. He's really pushing that, like... Because from 10 games, of course, from minimal games, it's a better chance to get a higher rating. But yeah, he's really showing similar signs to that early season well, yeah the first season well, not early in the season because he came in the youth intake he's got determination as well so everything he's doing he's doing everything right right now uh, but Curtis McKenzie's suspended so yeah Paul Wooten's going to have to come on the bench and we're slowly getting some players back of course he comes back from that suspension and he's been a decent player for us but actually now I'm going to start him ahead of Jones I've got to put experience in this game because usually, be careful and listen to what I heard. Usually, experienced players do better most of the time. But, of course, sometimes, yeah, they can fail. But still, usually, experienced players, they'll do well on most occasions. So, Anthony Jack, I don't even know if he should start because... Now, I'm going to bring in O'Callaghan. He's fully fit. Of course, Garner's done well, but... O'Callaghan's a good player right now. And, of course, Garner's... <laughs> he's going to be a good player. Uh, Stern, he's on superb morale. Guam, superb morale. Tolly's going to have to be played because Putman has still got that long-term injury, still for about two more months. But he's slowly, slowly, he won't be too far away. Hopefully, we can still stay in the cup and maybe he can make an appearance late. Uh, surely, if we face against a school premier team, we'll need him. Tolly probably won't be good enough, uh, but we'll see what Tolly can do in this game. You know, he's been surprising on different occasions uh, since he's joined, and another interesting formation, probably, yeah, you could expect this, like a five at the back, but that just shows we're expecting to win this, so again, I'm probably going to hard tackle all these players on like low condition, it's low in my view anyway, in the 90s, and anyone who'll come on, hopefully they can get some injuries, but hopefully no cards for us, no red cards, uh, let's go passionately, show me what you can do, lads, come on, Ross Stern, gets a good reaction, I think he's due to have a big game, as you know he can do. O'Callaghan. Okay, it's another wide pitch here. <laughs> really wide, actually. Oh, no, be careful. That was a really poor shot by Akinola, wasn't Yeah, he was the guy I was talking about before, and yeah, he's he didn't really do anything. Come on, Tolly, don't get offside. Score. Tolly's on. Oh... It was a good save by their keeper, actually, there. He smashed it at him, but he saved it, unfortunately. Come on. I was just talking about I can win this. I definitely don't want to have a embarrassing, yeah, embarrassing knocking out early. But even, yeah, I'm, I'm staying on counter, but I wouldn't mind staying on counter because if it comes a draw, then we just we take this game home and we'll have more chance, even yeah, even more than now, to win at home. So I will leave it on counter because if we finish as a draw, it won't be a disaster. Uh, but they pick up a free kick here just from the halftime, uh, beginning again. Tolly finds O'Callaghan, Stern, finish it. He does. I was talking, I said exactly. He knew and I knew, everyone knew Stern needed to step up and score a goal. He hasn't for a few games now, but he, yeah, he steps up and scores. And yeah, staying on counter shows uh, we still can score goals, as you know. But Stern, unlucky to not score. That was a great shot, unfortunately, just off the woodwork, but then gets the rebounds. The deserved goal we got. So yeah, now even more so a reason to stay on counter. Come on, tackle. 
Get it? Oh no. And I can see why people will uh, maybe say Churchill's not that good enough, but I think any goalkeeper at that level will concede from there. Like, so, sure. But he will do it on other... He'll save on other occasions. Uh, so here... Uh, w maybe it was a bad decision. He hasn't had a good game, Wooten. Oh, no. I'm going to bring on Ghana for O'Callaghan. And then ooh, I'm going to bring on Bossman. Not Ryan Watts. We need some yeah pace at the back to get forward. He's got good morale as well. So I'm not sure if I should go attacking and try and win it. No, let's go attacking. Even though if, if I lose it, yeah, people will talk about I should have stayed, like I said. But I just got to go with what has been good for me in the past and try and win it. I'll just skip that. Don't want to see that again. Come on. I have faith in you. Can we finish it, buyers, again? Please count. Oh, see, I knew. That's why I said please count, because I knew some rubbish was going to come up. <laughs> I knew it. But anyway, yeah, it's either going to be a draw. Yeah, it's going to be a draw, like I said. So going attacking at the end, uh, it didn't amount to anything. We didn't lose or we didn't win, so... It wasn't a terrible result at the end of the day. At least as we avoid a loss. But I'm still going to say I'm not happy. We should be beating this team even though it's away. Look at that. They had one shot on target and they scored from that. <laughs> like, come on. And we had nine. Nine on target. If that was them who had nine on target, I'm guessing they would have probably got about eight goals. <laughs> if I'm honest. But we're going to have to play it. I'm just going to go play it again because it's only, what, four days away. They're going to try and... Uh, like I said, at home, and then, yeah, this is where I'll change it. We'll go to, we'll keep the attack as the key formation to work on the starting tactic, and then in training, we'll go back to working on the attacking. Attacking in general training has been good for me, and attacking movement, we'll do that. When I do that mixed together, I seem to do really well. And I really, I want to win it. I really want to get out of being in the red. But any time, like, when you're at this level, basically any team you be, when you go towards the end of the season, I know it's not end of the season now, but at least when you get to that stage, you'll be in the red. You'll be in the red eventually, unless you go on an amazing cup run. So I'm confident I can win. Like, we didn't look like losing that, that game. That's what I mean. We didn't look like losing at all. Only 32, uh, 32 teams, and this is where it's going to be. We're going to play against Alfredson who's like a mid-table team, just judging off their uh, prediction. Oh, look at this guy, John Akinde. He would be amazing for me. That's what I'm saying. Like, he'll be a key player. They have key players. Uh, they got Callum Barretts, uh, who's a go yeah, young keeper. He looks really good uh, for a young keeper. And look at that. He's only conceded 13 and 17 appearances. Wow. Yeah, they're going to be hard to score against. Bradley Wood as well. He's got some good mental attributes, some high ones there. So, yeah, they're going to be hard to beat if we actually win. Uh, but you look at the rules. If you see, yeah, 6K for the, the prize money if we win that. But look, we're at 25K in the red. So, we're dropping money. We're, we're going to have to do something. So, it's not just about having higher wages. It's not, we don't even have, it's not like we're spending so much on wages. What is it? It's 6K per week. We need more money coming in. That's the thing. Like, if I only used 5k on wages, our team will be even worse. So, yeah, I would I would have a worse team and I wouldn't be doing as well as I am. So, it's hard to really judge. You can see some impressive performances in trade. Look at this Teddy Ngoy, uh, a guy who's joined this season as kind of a mid-age player, as I've been talking about, like 25. And he's improving, basically, in every single attribute, apart from a couple mentals. So... Yeah, he's looking really good um, as a signing, improving. Whenever you make a signing on a free transfer and he starts improving, uh, it's only a win-win situation because if anything, you can sell him. But anyway, uh, we're firm favourites. We should be winning this easy, judging how far we are favourites.
Yeah, you look at this. Main expenditure. I was just reading that for a second. It's, yeah, 23K uh, that came in the month. That's the main, yeah. And and th that's the thing. If we cut the wages down, if we let go of players, we'll be playing worse. We'll have lower quality players. So what do you do? What do you do? People want me to get promoted, but then at the same time complain about being in the red. <sighs> what can I do, yeah? What can I do? Oh, walking, uh, they dropped some points there. Who's first? Did they even play? Uh, Bromley? Uh, yeah, oh, they drew as well. So, well, we're not playing league games yet, of course. So we're going to be dropping, but it's just because we're playing the FA Trophy games. We still have extra games to play. So we should be winning at Shaw League against Harrow at home as well. Like you saw from the game we just played against them. We dominated. They only got one shot on target. Unfortunately, they scored from that. But you've got to expect that. So you've got to expect that from the AI or the CPU, whatever you want to call them. You've got to expect to lose those games when they only have one shot on target. That's how football manager is. But anyway, uh, George Byers, I'm keep playing him. He should get... Look, he's improving as well. Come on, accept a contract. Yes, finally. Uh, but we're not... See, that's... If I offer him a contract, we're going to go even more in the red. He's going to get paid more. So I'm just going to leave it for now, even though he's been insane for me this season. He's only going to get better. Or should I do it? I don't know. Surely I have to. I'll try and give him at least what he has right now. Give him to 2018 as well. Or oh, unused sub or make it high because maybe I'll use him a lot. Yeah, okay. He accept that. That's all good. I'll be happy just to get him, yeah, 30 pounds more. He could have definitely, yeah, wanted more. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, he signed. That's a big thing. I thought, yeah, I would have made a big thing about him not joining. But now he is joining. So yeah, that is great. And for it to go now, for him to be confident. And still, Galinar's injured. How long is this injury going for? Probably he's not going to be back for about a month. So Adelsbury's going to have to play that right back position. Of course, he's not natural there. But it's not like we have someone else that can come in that kind of role. Wooten, again, I'm going to have to drop him as well. Because if he he's low in his condition and he didn't even play a great game. Uh, or Curtis McKenzie. No, I'm going to play McKenzie instead of Jones. He's probably a bit better, has better morale as well. Dutton having uh, some decent form recently. Well, he has superb morale. He must be doing good. But Atoli's kind of... He's not doing as amazing as I need, especially uh, with losing uh, Putman to injury. He's still going to be out for two more months. At least he's not going down. Hopefully he doesn't go down because I need him to keep those high attributes in finishing. Yeah, that's about it, is it? We're going to the game. Please, I've got to pray for something good. We can't use extra subs now. That's only FA Cup. I want to play Jack. But Garner's been good. But what do I do, yeah? Nah, I've got to leave him there. I don't have much options, do I? Now I'm actually going to take Ryan Watts off. Hopefully, Ball doesn't get injured, but I've got to take that risk. Come on. We're going on attack. We should be beating this team, surely. Now they're playing a flat back five. Last time they were playing with three centre backs and then a wing back, so huge game here. But you think guys like Stern, who's got ten goals and seven assists, you got O'Callaghan with six goals and ten assists, Gooms with three goals and eight assists. Uh, good assist players playing. We should be able to score in this game. Tolly, step up, lad. We need you. Might be a chance here. Byers, and yeah, leave your thoughts on Byers. He's playing actually really, really well. O'Callaghan finds Tolly and he gets it. Come on. Come on, Tommy. We know you can be a superstar. Now just show it, and he is. Nice goal. Good passing as well. Like I was talking about the assist. O'Callaghan, of course, he'll step up for assist. And Tom, he steps up. Great start here. Exactly what I wanted. Got the possession going. Exactly what we needed. Come on, win the header. Williams. Finds Stern. Finds Tolly again. I suppose it's easy when their goalkeeper has a knock. He can't keep to the best of his two abilities, but look at that. And Stern. He found Tolly, and that's his second for the game. Hopefully he can start scoring more consistently because he went on crazy runs of scoring goals like previous seasons. 
And I talk about that like he's experienced players when I say previous seasons. He's still only 17, and he's not going to turn 18 until March of next year. So, yeah, he's either-footed. That's always going to be... He's a fantastic young player. Fantastic. I'd say passionately, I'm very pleased. Uh, Tolly being important, and he's back on track. Tolly is back on track. And we need him to keep on that goal-scoring form, at least until Putman is back. And yeah, these matches are crucial to win because of the money. Cut money. Come on, Knight. Make another mistake, yeah? Well, it wasn't really a mistake before. He just didn't save it. And Goy. Got to be careful here. Be careful! Come on. Oh, it's a free kick. Thank you. Well, if it was offside, it was offside. So, Akinola. Let's make some changes here. We'll go to advanced tactics and see who we need to change right here. George O'Callaghan, again, I don't want him to get injured. Uh, I'll bring on Anthony Jack or Ben Garner for experience. Nah, Ben Garner will come on for experience. But actually, then I'll drop him back for Byers. Then I'll take Byers off. And then I'll bring on Anthony Jack will come on there. Then Stern will come off. And then we'll bring on Bossman. It's just uh, fresh legs in midfield and attack there. Ben Garner, pressure off because he's a good young player. You can see there. Gets a good reaction. And Bossman looks good after I said I have faith in him. So let's go. Let's try and win this. Just finish off the last 10 minutes or so now. Yeah, we've got it. We have got this. Come on. But next round's going to be hard. Facing a school premier team against a goalkeeper who's only conceded like 11 goals in 17 appearances, as I showed you before. But... We won 2-0. That was a really convincing performance. Didn't look like conceding. We'll go passionate. I'm very pleased. Wow. That was... Yeah, now they had zero on target. That's a bit better, isn't it? And yeah, we look good. We look good. I'm uh, happy with that. We get the money and now... What's our... Well, it's still... Yeah, we're still in the red, but... We just got to keep winning. Of course, next round, as I said, it's going to be hard. I'll freight and... Who's, where are they sitting in the league, though? I, saw, I showed you last time how they're like a mid-table expectation, but where are they actually sitting? Oh, oh, they're third. No. Are we playing at home, at least? Oh, at least we're playing at home. <laughs> at least that. But anyway, we've got Hayes and Yetting next, and then Sutton United. Where's Hayes and Yetting and Sutton United? Hayes and Yetting's 15th, and Sutton is... 10th. So around mid-table teams... Should be looking to beat them. We've got those games in hand. Uh, hopefully win, we can push back into that promotion zone and we'll see how we go. I really, I do want to try for promotion this season. Uh, but leave your thoughts. Where is realistic, like on my team, judging on my players, do you think we can get promoted? I think we can. Like if you look on my recent form, we've only got two losses in the space of that many games. So yeah, we're on good form. Hopefully enjoy this episode a bit long, but hopefully you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time.